Okay, hi. Um, many years ago, I had put up a video called uh, Three Books That Changed My Life. And yes, they did change my life. But now I have one more to add, which has really been a game changer. To give you a backstory about why this book was so impactful for me, I grew up fairly privileged. I didn't really ask anything about money and I didn't know anything that was happening in terms of money um, like behind the scenes with my parents. I was completely oblivious. I studied in the US. Um, I studied engineering. I got a good job. I was learning well. I moved back to India. I you know, had the same job. I was still learning well. I quit that job and I was self-employed for six years as an actor. Now, when you're self-employed, you have to start paying attention to your money. And so I did. And I'm also not so privileged that I can like happily be oblivious in terms of money as um, a self-employed person. So I started sort of like really keeping track of and keeping an eye on my finances, right? Like tracking everything, making charts and like all of that. My finances were like very neatly organized, but there wasn't that much in it. Um, to organize beyond a point and so six years later I made the decision to just go back to corporate and like simplify my life because I'm tired. Anyway, I found this book in an airport when I was really like, what am I doing in my life? I had just made the decision to go back to corporate and I was looking for jobs and money was like the most anxiety inducing topic for me. Um, because I was in this in-between space where I didn't know if I would have a steady income or if I would have to really buckle down on being self-employed and like push myself in that aspect. Anyway, then I found this book and I swear it has definitely changed my life. It's called Let's Talk Money by Monica Halan, okay? It's so simple, it's so honest, it's so real, it's practical it's reasonable she doesn't take a very strong stance on anything everything has like an anecdote like a story about her life or someone she knows she's got examples she's got like you know if, you, if you're having a hard time understanding the math she like lays out an example it's so good it's like having an older wiser sister that's gonna sit you down and be like listen you're hearing a lot of crap from a lot of people but let me just tell you what it is and then you decide okay and she gives you, she basically lays everything out. Like these are your options and how you put it together depends on what you need and how risk averse you are and like, you know, what you want to achieve in your life. And so it's, it's just a way for you to start. Because like when I was trying to figure this stuff out on my own, I didn't even know where to start because I would Google one thing and then you had to know like 15 other things in order to understand the one thing that you Googled and then I would just give up. And so I felt like, did I have to take an accounts course? Like, did I have to go back and get a BCom? Like, even CAs had a hard time explaining things to me. And this book just finally, oh my God, finally it makes sense. Some of the things she talks about, I was already doing and I just feel so reassured because it was different from the way that my family did it. My family is very conservative in terms of like, you know, my mom only puts things in FDs and buys gold and all. Sorry, mommy, if you're watching. But I wanted to like look into mutual funds and investing and like what is a debt fund what is a mid cap large cap i didn't even know i'm gonna be honest what sensex actually was like i didn't know what it was until i read this book like i knew it existed and i knew that like it going up was good and going down was bad and like that's it like i was financially illiterate until i found this book i'm this is the first time in a long time I've sat with like a highlighter and like sticky notes and like drawn diagrams and Google things and bookmark things and like downloaded apps and like I clean up so much of my own like finances, like like accounts that were just lying dormant. I've like, you know, made a to-do list to close things, move things, consolidate things, reorganize things. I just feel so much more equipped in terms of like sorting out my own stuff how to like organize it how to plan it how to like what numbers should i be looking for what percentages should i be looking for i can't i can't even begin to explain it just it really feels like i had a deep meaningful honest real conversation with somebody that had my best interests at heart like that's how it really feels i sound really fucking brainwashed but maybe i am because everything i've tried looking for before this has never made sense and this is the first time everything's making sense and she's very honest about how the how this is like a starting point and it's not the end 
but at least now i know what to look for i can google things and understand them this book is 400 rupees guys 400 rupees 399 please if you're like me if you're financially illiterate if you are extremely conservative and you're trying to like broaden your horizons if you're extremely uh inclined to risk and you want to like dial it back whatever it is like unless you have a background in finance you should really read this i'm obsessed like i might print a photo of her and put it in my room because she is feels like she's really looking out for me and knows how to explain things to me and like wants me to succeed so yes this is highly 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 recommended i can't believe how much of my own ignorance i have willfully declared in this video um but yeah if you wanted to scam me or time is over now cuz now i know better i'm just like looking at this book fondly now okay um i'm going to go write an email to her about how obsessed i am so link to the book in the description okay bye